what's up you guys this is life with ebony and what i'm about to do is some ad workouts you guys i get married in like 90 days and probably or 89 days probably at this point and i gained a lot of weight over the past few months not working out just working chilling eating you know and i need to get this gut down y'all you know? my man said i don't have a gut but I feel like I do because my stomach was never this big. So it's these ad workouts I used to do back in the day when I had time. I wasn't such a mom and a great aunt watching a lot of kids be busy, you know, and I used to always have time to work out. So I'm going to do this ad workout. I think it was like the Pacquiao abs workout I, used, I got off of YouTube years ago, but it always kept my stomach flat. So I'm about to try this workout again. Y'all can follow along with me on this workout. Or you just, you know, take your time. I do not know the workout to exact. I got to find the video, but I'm just going to do what I remember. So here you go. The nice ab workout to get them abs tight and fit. We trying to get this stomach down, y'all, in 90 days. So remember this. Let's see if I can stay consistent. Because consistency is the key to life and everything and getting this belly down before wedding day. So let's get started. First one that we're gonna do is gonna put your hands behind you and go like this. You can do it like ten times. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Make sure you kick all the way out. Eight, nine, ten. All right. So that's the first one. Now, I was just told when I used to watch T25 and Stanley. Keep that tummy tight, y'all. Keep it tough so it uh, make the little muscles work a little harder if you can. But still breathe. Don't pass out. All right? So the next one, if you can balance like this, if you can balance like this, you can go like this. All right? If not, just like that. All right? So we're going to do that too. Okay. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's the next one. Now that one, yeah, you don't want to put your hands in. If you haven't worked that in a while, because I felt that one on my back. And turn it off, so I'm going to try this again. Um, this one, I think it's called Flutter Kicks. You lean back. Like I said, if you, your core is strong enough, you don't have to put your hands down. Watch out, baby. But if so, dog. then you have to put your hands down, stretch your legs out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I have it. So this one, I don't think it's my did. turn. This one is a lot easier. I'm just like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So all of these that you're doing, you want to do four sets of tens, or four sets of eights, or four sets of fives, whichever is better for you. Or you can do burnout. I know dudes that do burnout, and they say it helps them build their core faster. So after I do those, you know, I do a plank for a minute. So I get down like this with your knees off the ground. Guys, so my camera kept getting full, so I had to delete some footage. So after you complete all those sets, like I say, you want to do four sets of them. You know, do the max that you can do, 10 every four sets or eight five whatever it is but do four sets of everything that i show you and i always end it with planks um but before i get to the planks is one thing that i do um this is not from the pacquiao workout i think this was from sean t and sanity i always do this right here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten then i switch one Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Then I do this one, two, three, four, five, six, seven
two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make sure you go all the way. Come on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. All right, so after you do that, you do the four sets, and then I always end my ad workout with planks, you guys, like a one-minute plank. So together, see if I can stretch out far enough. Together, we'll try this one-minute plank. Make sure your knees are off the floor. Put your elbows like this. I think it's on 30 seconds. Spread your legs if you need to, boy. Start getting shaky. Like I told y'all, I'm out of shape. I'm, I'm struggling right now in 30 seconds. All right, you guys. So the final step is the one-minute plank. I'm waiting until you get to the 30-second mark. And we're going to stay in the plank position for one minute. If you need to drop, that's fine. I may need to drop myself because I haven't did a plank in a long time. But the plank is going to help all of this, y'all. All of this. Let me stretch and get ready. I got nine seconds to get in position. And we're going to do this for one minute, y'all. Ready? Make sure you're in a good position. I have my legs spread it so much as y'all can see. But I am still high. My locks just covering my arms. <laughs> We got, what, close to 30 more seconds? We gonna do this. <laughs> I don't know, crossing your fingers is cheating, so I'm not gonna touch my hands. 15 more seconds, y'all. We gonna count down 10, 9, Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. So we did it. This is my out work I'm gonna be doing for 90 days, you guys. I'm not gonna do it every day because my body will be sore, but probably like every other day, I'm going to do this workout and I'm try to track my process and see my, my progress and see if it helps lower my stomach. To fit in that wedding dress, okay? Because I don't want my dress a little pudgy. But if so, that's fine. It's fine for a little pudgy, extra loving. Ain't nothing wrong with it. If y'all like this video, y'all want me to try some more workouts to add. Or you have any other suggestions to get my belly down. Y'all let me know in the comments, alright? Peace.